see. We got new leg warmers for Vinny, a watermelon mallet for Pepper, and some antique doorknobs for Mrs. Twombly. That's everything on the list. Don't forget the nose cream for my sister, Gail. Of course. How could I forget your sister? I can't wait to meet her. Well, Blythe, I can't wait for you to meet her. Gail's an absolute hoot. Oh, she's always getting herself into the most interesting situations. Did I ever tell you about the time she was trapped inside largest ever pet shop? <gasps> Gail's trapped inside the largest ever pet shop! You think about all the things that you love to do. It all comes true. Sister will never last the day in the largest ever pet shop. Look at her blight. Are you sure that's Gail? Of course, darling. See that collar she's wearing? Only Gail could pull off a collar that fabulous looking. Well, how'd she end up in the largest ever's day camp? I don't know, but we simply must do something to spring her from the cliff. Ah! What is that? What the huh? Robot security guard? Oh, life must be dreadful for my sweet sister. On the inside, there's not a creature on four legs with more joie de vivre than Gail. That place will kill her very soul. <laughs> there must have been some kind of mix-up by her owners. She was supposed to be dropped off at Littlest Pet Shop, not here. Let's just go get her out. So this is Largest Ever Pet Shop. Cold, big, biscuity. Ugh. Ah! Well, well, well. Look who's in our outrageously large store, Whitney. Oh, hi, girls. I was just talking about you. Who with? Your dog? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Whitney, you are hilarious. I know. Look, I'm only here because there's a dog in your day camp who was obviously dropped off here by mistake. She's Zoe's sister. Well, too bad for you. And too bad for, like, whoever you just said. Come on, can't you just help me out? We can't. But I know someone who can. Monvan! By your demon. Blythe, this is Monvan, the only robot pet shop security guard in all of downtown city. Good to know. He's got this cool voice recognizer thingy, so we can totally make him do whatever we say. Just like a boyfriend. Watch. My man, Blythe Band. Prime Directive. Obey Biscuit voice commands. I will help you out. <laughs> you have been banned from the largest ever pet shop. Your ban will expire in two weeks. Have a nice day. I can't believe the Biscuits have banned me from their store. I don't even want to go in their store. And who has their own robot anyway? I mean, seriously. You should have seen Gail. So frail. So vulnerable. So alone in the pokey. Come on, Zoe. It couldn't be that bad. Yeah, you're just being dramatic. <gasps> Dramatic? Moi? <laughs> Never! Oh! I feel faint! Oh. Gail locked up! It's just too much to bear! Too much, I tell you! Hurry! Before she swoons again! Okay, everybody, I got it! <laughs> oh, I'm afraid that won't work. I'm far too distraught to...
She just can't resist the song, can she? Uh, nope. You can, you know you can. Don't forget to dance. It's the only plan, it's the only plan. Don't forget to dance. It's the only plan, it's the only plan. Yeah, we need one. Listen up, everyone. We've got to sneak into Larges Ever Pet Shop somehow and break Gale out. But what if we don't get back in time for our owners to pick us up? We'll be in trouble! There's nothing to worry about, Sunil. While you were complaining, I came up with a little something I like to call Operation Gale Break. This is Largest Ever Pet Shop, the highest volume pet-based retailer in all of downtown city. And this is the day camp area of Largest Ever Pet Shop. It's surrounded by half-inch plexiglass. The same stuff they use in hockey rinks. First, we need to get past the state-of-the-art security system, which anyone will tell you takes more than a smile. Peppa will go in first. She'll illuminate the security's laser so that Vinny can ever so skillfully slip past the beams and then turn off the system. But that's only the first layer of security. The largest ever pet shop is also equipped with a high-tech Monban 5000 security robot manufactured in Osaka, Japan. Penny Ling, this one's up to you. Once we've disabled Monban, we still have to deal with the human element. Sunil, with your mind control ability, that's where you come in. Next, we'll need to get through the day camp center's door. That's you, Minka. Once we're inside, the individual crates are made of plexiglass. Zoe will use her vocal skill to take care of those. Since she's been inside, life will guide you all back to the main entrance via headsets, where we'll reunite at the rallying points. Then we hurry back here before our owners arrive to pick us up. Wow, Russell, you came up with that whole plan in like seconds. You are good. Hold on. We're supposed to walk into the largest ever pet shop, get past a spiderweb of lasers, disable a very expensive robot security guard and two mean girls, enter a day camp area made of half-inch plexiglass and walk out with Zoe's sister? Piece of cake. Actually, I prefer pie. Okay, let's see. Hats? Check. Belts? Check. Stylish and functional turtlenecks? Check. Headsets? <laughs> This is the only one I could find. You're kidding! A pink plastic toy? Oh, the headsets were the coolest part of my plan. Oh, well, put it away. The advance team probably doesn't need them anyway. Uh, Pepper and Vinny, front and center. You know what you're doing, right? That's a big 10-4, good buddy. <laughs> beams. Oh, there aren't any lasers because the security system isn't on when the store's open. <laughs> Russell's gonna feel so dumb. <laughs> hey, Russell, no lasers. What? Yeah, because they only use them when the store's closed. Oops. <laughs> oh, come on, Vinny. Could be such a beast. No pets allowed outside designated area. <laughs> okay, everybody. Vinny and Pepper being captured is a minor setback. I think we can still proceed with a modified version of the original plan that I like to call Plan B. Okay, so Penny Ling will still take out Mondan. So excited. Sunil, you'll still handle the biscuits. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> and Minka, you'll still be in charge of getting us through the day camp door. Okay, everyone, let's move! <laughs> Out? <laughs> Send text. Send text. <laughs> oh, Whitney, you're so funny. What is that? <laughs> Mondan. Great, 
monkey of all eight. <laughs> Make that aisle seven. Here I come! Oh, wrong way! Uh, aisle nine. Aisle ten. Aisle eleven. She's totally gonna make it! She'll never make it. They never make it. I'm coming against you, Gail! <laughs> No pets allowed outside designated area. See? They never make it. Okay, it's time for plan C. If Penny Link can reverse the polarity of the fourth cash register, the next transaction that biscuits ring up should trigger exactly the right frequency to disable the robot. But that's only if Sunil can worm within a three-foot radius of the register. Russell, your plan seems a little... complicated. I have something simpler in mind. Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Intruder halt! Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Check out Mom Band's belly telly. Uh, what is Blight doing here? Stop! Resistance is useless. Well, there's my cardio for the day. I hope Zoe's got never went out by now. Zoe's here to let us out! I'm coming for you, Gail! <gasps> you newbies will never learn. No one ever makes it. Oh no! It's Zoe's favorite song! No, Zoe! Allowed outside designated area. Gail, Gail. Oh, Gail! How are we ever going to bust out of the Huskow? Ah! Well, guess who just got double banned, Brit? Uh, Blythe. Ugh, yes, of course, Blythe. Mom Ben. Thank you for visiting the largest ever pet shop. Please visit us again when your double ban has been double lifted. Increased security activity has depleted Monban's energy. Main battery power below 1%. Monban sleepy. Ugh, this guy is so boring. Why does he have to be all like battery powered? Seriously, he needs to go like green. Brittany, he's electric. He's already green. Oh, then he needs to go a different color. Because he's still plugged in. No pets allowed outside designated area. What do we do? What do we do? They've already been captured! You guys! I finally figured out a plan that can work. It's plan... 
what are we up to now? K or L? I think it's Plan L. Okay, so for Plan L, all we need is for Sunil and Penny Ling to come in through here. Uh, Penny Ling got caught. Oh, great. I knew I should have gone with Plan K. Why didn't I just listen to the voices in my head? Wait a minute. The voices in your head! Russell, you're a genius! <laughs> of course I am. What'd I do? You said you should have listened to the voices in your head. Well, Mon Ban has voices in his head, too. Whitney and Britney's. Okay, here we go. Okay, boys. We can rescue everyone, including Zoe's sister, and still get home in time. But it's all up to you, Sunil. It would be. You need to sneak inside and hypnotize the biscuits. Just like in Russell's original plan. The original one didn't have a letter, right? Right. So then, with the biscuits under control, you'll need to put this over Mon Ban's auditory sensors. Over his what? His robot ears. Oh. Once they're in place, I'll impersonate Whitney and Brittany's voices and order Mon Ban to free the pets. What do you think? It has a beginning, middle, and end. I like it. Let's call it Plan M. There's no way I'm doing this. I am an unbelievable coward. Uh, that's true. He is. Sunil, if I step in that store, I'll set off Mon Ban's security sensors. And if Russell goes in, he'll just roll up into a ball. It's a hedgehog thing. I know this is a lot to ask, but your friends really need you. You're our only hope. Okay, I'll do it. Adam, Mongoose. I'll start working on a plan for when he gets captured. For your friends, Sunil. For your friends. Don't worry, Sunil. I'm right here in your ear. I don't care. I'm not going in. He's frozen. Any ideas, Russell? Well, from what I know of Sunil, he may be a terrified coward with no belief in himself, but there is one thing that brings out his inner hero. Sunil, you need to listen to me closely. There are cobras inside that store. Do you hear me? Cobras. Did... did you just say that cobras are inside? Well, not exactly. But when you look in there, instead of pet toys and food, I want you to see cobras. I hate cobras. Totally. Is it time to close yet? Hey, what are you doing out of your crate? Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Monban, can't you do anything right? You should totally go release the pets. Like, now! Prime Directive. Obey Biscuit Voice Command. What just, like, happened? I was just about to ask the same thing. Uh, hi, hi, Daddy. Almost made it. Over here, everyone! Hurry! Wow, you're amazing! I, uh, it was nothing. I knew you needed me and I couldn't ignore the call. Gail? Uh, 
Who's Gail? Who are you? Name's Tootsie. Oops. <laughs> I seem to have made a slight mistake. Oh. Oh. Well, this is awkward. I suppose it couldn't be helped, really. All Cavalier King Charles Spaniels look the same to me. <laughs> Can uh, someone give me a ride home? Come on, Tootsie. I'll call your owner. Um, did that girl just talk to me? Well, there you are, Zoe, darling. I've been waiting for you all afternoon. Gail! <gasps> oh, we've had such a day. You'll never believe what happened. Oh, let me guess. You mistook me for someone else? Again? Again? Oh, Zoe, what are we going to do with you? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to dance! Dance like you know you can. You can, yeah, you know you can. Dance like you know you can. You can, yeah, you know you can.